Hi, this is Carl from Web Courses Bangkok, and today I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on your local computer. Uh, today we're going to be using uh, PC, and we'll be using Mac in a further screencast. So first of all, you just need to download WordPress. So if you just go to WordPress.org, once you're there, click on Download, and you might find that this number changes when you're watching this screencast because they often update the whole WordPress. So just click on download WordPress 3.4.1 in this case. So click on download and then it will start downloading here. Now that's something that I've already done. So I'm just going to head over to my downloads folder. My downloads folder is just here and I can see here that I've got WordPress 3.4.1 zip file. Now inside there that's what we want to get. So I'm going to double click and here if I double click again I can now see all the files that I need. The next stage is to create a home for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight this or press Ctrl and A and then Ctrl and C. Alternatively, you can highlight, right click and copy. Now, the important folder for what we're going to be working on is called the htdocs folder. Now for me, it's in my documents and I just need to move down and here it is. Here's my htdocs folder you might find it in your uh, libraries documents then go to MAMP and then htdocs which is just here okay now these are my previous installations I'm gonna make a new one I'm just gonna right click new folder and I'm just gonna put new WP and that's the name of my fo my new website I'm gonna double click inside the folder right click and paste Once it's done, you'll see all the files here. Great. So now we need to start our server so we can set up our database. My server is just here. If I go to all programs, I've got a lot of programs here, and then all the way down to um, exam for Windows, and then start the control panel. Another easy way is just type in XAMP into the run menu and click on control panel. Now you'll see here mine's already running, but you just click on start and start just to start your local server. Now to get to my local server, I'm just going to go to our, my browser and type in localhost. Now if you're using a Mac, then you have to go to localhost, colon, 1234, th and 48 like that. Slightly, this, slightly different, but kind of the same. Great, so now we're here. Now an easy way to get to starting a database is just on the left hand side and look for PHP my admin. Click on that and it will take you to this screen. Now again, I might have an older version of yours, so you might need to click on databases at the top here to be able to see this screen. Once you're there, you can see create new database and I'm just going to call it new WP just to make it easy to remember. I'm going to click on create and there we go. I've created my database. The next thing I need to do is open up a new tab and I'm going to go to localhost forward slash and the name of the folder that we created earlier which is in this case new WP. Now your database name and your folder name don't have to match but I find it easier to remember. Now that we're told that we need to install a configuration file what that does is connect your WordPress installation to your actual database. Click on create and you're asked for four details. Click on let's go. Now for a PC this database name and the Mac is actually the same is new WP or whatever you created here whatever you put into PHP my admin. Once you've done that the username for a PC is root and the password is nothing. For a Mac it's root as well for the password. So for us PCs it's just that little bit easier. <laughs> Great, so click on submit and then it will take a little while just as it's creating everything and then we're ready to run the install. Great. Now the information we need is a site name so I'm going to put new WordPress. Now the username and password I use for local stuff is just admin and admin and admin again. The reason I do that is it's easy to remember and because it's only on my computer it doesn't have to be too secure. Move down and add just a false email, it's not important here. And then allow search engines, that's fine. Again, we're doing it locally, so it won't appear on search engines anyway. 
and click on install WordPress and there we go so now if I just go back to localhost new WordPress like that and press enter there it is we've installed WordPress now we need to get inside it so to log in we go to WP hyphen admin and that's the same for any website even if it's live press enter and now we can go admin admin click login and there you go you've installed WordPress well done and see you for the next screencast thanks for watching and if you want any more information on our screencasts or courses go to www.webcoursesbangkok.com thanks bye